What is going on guys, Dr. Lupo back here, and today I have some, uh, some quite simple money making method. Now I will warn you, this is not the greatest money making method, uh, maybe I do this once every month, maybe like five times in a row if I'm busy or anything. So pretty much this is a quite simple money making method, all you need to do is you need to open up this one job and just complete it, which is quite simple, but before, be well shoot my phone just ever. before we do that, I just want to say, if you look at this crew, uh, if you look at this T-shirt, obviously it is a, a just a blue T-shirt. It is the only one of its kind. So if you guys want to go grab one of these blue T-shirts, it is my crew T-shirt. If you like the color blue and want it on your character, you can join my crew. The link is in the description. If you uh, if you do like the T-shirt, it's just a plain old T-shirt. I'm trying to make a crew emblem better, but anyways, so yeah, if if you want it, you can join my crew down below, and then you can get this uh, Pim Swagmobile blue T-shirt. Okay, anyways, so now, after done rambling up some bunch of nonsense, what you're going to want to do, you're going to go to the start menu, then you're going to go to online, then you're going to go to jobs, then you go to, uh, what was it, uh, play jobs, my bad, you go to play jobs, then you go to rockstar created, then you go to missions, you go to missions, then you go to ballas to the wall. Now, I'm pretty sure no one has ever played this mission in a while because it, it's such a, like, a ship mission, but, uh, it's a quite easy money making method now if you guys want uh to make a little bit extra rp you can um you can put it on hard mode but i'm just gonna put it on normal just for this video so i don't get killed and that uh, would be pretty bad so pretty much what this mission does is if you did not know um ever oh no i lost my bag well uh ever since whatever like i'll say like six months ago they added a thing, the longer you play, the longer you are in a mission, the more cash you get after it. And I'm pretty sure also the more RP you get. So that means if you're in a mission, if you're in a mission and, oh shoot. If you're in a mission and you stay in that mission for like a while, you'll get extra cash and extra RP on top of it. Instead of completing a mission as soon as you can as possible, you get like 1k. Which personally I find it kind of weird. Because that's kind of it's kind of stupid i would um i can't really comprehend because personally in my opinion i think if you stay in the mission shorter you should get an extra amount because that means you completed the mission faster but this is just a, a really good strategy on what to do and how to like i wouldn't say rig the system but how to make an extra uh cash so what you're going to want to do you want to go to just uh go to the main objective which is to repo the shafter and where you want to do, you're just going to drive there. And it's also, um, it doesn't really matter where you, where, uh, where you are when you start up the mission because, uh, the amount of, the long, the longer it takes for you to go and drive up to him, the more it takes you to be in the mission. So therefore, instead of you waiting along, waiting after you complete the mission to, uh, to wait and go, uh, turn it into like Simeon, then you can wait a shorter time just because you spent more time driving to the actual mission itself. So what we want to do, you want to, I'll give you, I'll give you an easy strategy. Come over here. There's the shafter. Just uh, shoot him in the face with a pistol. Like, oh, I missed. Well, you always, I always shoot him like that. And don't worry about anybody else. Drive. I'm pretty sure, even if the shafter is in some pretty shit condition, the Simeon won't care. He will just mention that it's in a, a shit condition. I don't think it's gonna give you. Uh, it's not gonna give you any, um, any like negativity against the uh against how much cash you make like right there i got killed oh that sucks yeah so if you guys didn't know there's a live commentary and, uh normally people don't do the live commentary over this so that's uh, i just died so obviously i can't like oh yeah i'm probably gonna have to redo this if i die right now but uh just because i died it means that i don't need to wait more time waiting in the mission anyways oh shoot i'm gonna these guys are gonna pwn me just kill these guys to get a few extra RP right over here. So yeah, I just want to get to the quick, uh, quick, uh, quick thing where I uh, turn it off. So we're gonna want to do. We're gonna go uh, to the main objective. And once you get a uh, good like 0 0.5 meters away from them, uh, like to the spawn, they will just stop following you. So you don't really need to worry about them anymore. So um, you see, as soon as we get to either like five or ten, they're all their uh, the things are gonna go away. Oh yeah, I see. Right here, as soon as you hit to 25, they uh, they disappear. They're not gonna try to kill you anymore because you're so close to the uh, to the main objective. So um, they're just gonna be like, oh, whatever, screw you. So we're, okay, here, okay, here. Is that a prostitute? Okay, what you're gonna wanna do 
is you're not going to want to bring it to the yellow. You're going to put it right here. I mean, it's not a glitch, so you can put it wherever you want, as long as you don't put it over there. Now, what you're going to want to do, you're just going to want to wait. And for you not to get kicked out of the game, I recommend you taking your controller and, like, propping it up first. Um, Like, propping it up, like, first. Make yourself in a straight line. And then just put your controller on something that the joystick is being pushed up. So it is like that, all right. So I'm not touching anything. You can hear me snap both of my fingers, just for clarification. So my guy is doing this right now. But what you're gonna want to make sure is not to walk away from the game for like a long period of time, because what will happen is it's going to sense that you're really far away from the objective, and then the um the guys that you just took the car from are going to respawn in. So don't go don't uh, don't go really far away from the actual shafter itself. So you're just gonna you're gonna want to do this for a good like uh, five minutes. It actually really depends on how uh, how long you were already in the mission for. So if you're in the mission for five minutes already, then you're gonna want to probably do the mission for uh, you're you're probably gonna want to do this for three minutes. So what you can do you can do this, then you can uh, go finish your homework, go finish like a math problem, like maybe like one or five math problems or something like that. And then um and yeah, that's pretty much also that's all what you're gonna want to do. So. I'm actually going to pause it right now just so my guy will walk uh, over there. And uh, really quick also, uh, one important side note that you uh, have to know is, uh, yeah, so if your guy goes all the way over there, then that's going to be bad. And make sure your guy is in a completely straight direction because if he gets stuck on a wall, then that's uh, going to be bad and you're probably going to get kicked out. And also, here, I'll start turning him right now just so I can uh, continue talking. So... Uh, the the one of the one of the last things before I uh, get my guy to come over there is um shoot what was it it was really important it was that um shoot what was it oh yeah the the most amount of money you will be able to uh, make in this mission is 9k I don't know if I'll have that on the in the description before before this video starts I don't remember it was either 9 to 12k the max you're uh, uh, able to get just because it's like a, a really simple mission but 9k is like selling a car so uh, you, in order to sell a car you need to wait 45 minutes so maybe if you want you can complete this mission then go see if you can sell a car for 9k and then right there boom you make 18k just by that and even if you do this mission two times and do the same thing over and over again you'll make 9k just like that it's uh it's quite an easy money making method but obviously you can't freaking go get a supercar if you do this two times but um you know so um, so it's a really it's not a, it's not that of a fast method but it is a it is a money making method that is quite simple so here we'll go turn it in right now so um let's just turn it in i don't think we're going to get 9k just cuz i it wasn't really um we didn't do it for that long if we get 9k that would be good just so just so we can so i can show you that uh how much money you can get so let's see got 15 jp all right all right we got 9k like i said and we got a we got a decent amount of rp just for some like trash mission and then you just uh do that so you get an extra rp all right so anyways guys that was the video i'm probably gonna cut some parts out of it anyways so if you did enjoy the video please comment and subscribe it would be much appreciated and also don't forget if you want that cool blue t-shirt make sure to go join my crew down below so you can get that pimp swag